Like, tell me you live in a council estate without telling me you live in a council estate. I'll go first. Right, hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm doing something new. I'm having Mexican meatballs and <laughs> just a little bit of ice. Let me tell you what is in this, um, these meatballs. It is beef and pork meatballs in Mexican style sauce, topped with red and yellow peppers, black turtle beans, grated Monterey Jack cheese, and grated chili cheese and green jalap jalapenos. Uh, before I get eating, I've got some shout outs to make. So first shout out is to Ryan Parkinson. You have been on my channel for a long, long time. Uh, thank you uh, for, for being here for as long as you have so far and hope to see you for many years to come. Shout out to Anna Sophie is new to the channel but is a close and personal friend of mine um so anna thank you uh, i appreciate you watching um next shout out is jade malone same as ryan you've been on my channel for a while i appreciate you being here for as long as you have uh thank you so much long may it continue and jay and london uh fairly new to the channel um, I haven't really noticed you guys uh, much um, but thank you for taking the time out to watch and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you guys here for a long while also all right I'm gonna try these I've never had these meatballs before I saw it and I thought it's quite intriguing It has, it has a chili con carne type taste to it, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot of ice. <laughs> I'm not going to waffle as much in this video. I'm drinking, but bar cherry aid is very nice. I do like bar cherry, cherry aid. I'm not going to waffle in this video. This rice is homemade. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to waffle on this video. like the last one I started speaking about something and I'm not going to say what because I, I delete it for a reason um, in the last video and I was like oh, let, me just, let me just get rid of it so I was deleting it I was deleting that part uh, where I was talking about a particular thing <laughs> oh, I deleted the part where I was speaking about uh, something and then I didn't realize how long I was speaking about it for um, I don't know if you've noticed in the last video how the pie just disappeared like magic same as the second Savaloy completely disappeared as well I did eat it <laughs> and that video I filmed for about 47 minutes which is why the bad burger wasn't hot anymore and was quite quite dry because it had gone cold um, yeah I mean you guys only got to, <laughs> you guys only got to see what 21 22 minutes of the video but yeah <coughs> I, after I, I deleted everything yeah I, I I waffled way too much 
Mm. This is nice. I would like more sauce, but I didn't want to get, this is what it is. It is from Sainsbury's. My God, that is hot. Oh, my God, it's so hot. It's absolutely, absolutely steaming. And the, the, the past couple of bites, I didn't realize how hot it was and whew, Burnt the inside of my mouth, almost. You know what, I'm, I'm so proud of my wife, man. I really am. Look, it's how it's like fluffy and loose and it's not clumped together. Let's try a meatball, see how that tastes. Not bad, you know, not bad at all. <clears throat> I do need I do need to apologise for this video being late um, I was in too much pain the past couple of days to film mm. this is nice I am going to make a chili con carne again because that was absolutely lovely last time i've got everything for a spaghetti bolognese i need to get some kidney beans for the chili con carne as well you know i, I could be wrong but i feel like the difference between chili con carne and spaghetti bolognese, obviously, you know, forget the rice and the pasta, is that for chili con carne it's spicy and it has kidney beans. That's the only difference, I think. If there is a difference, please let me know. But <clears throat> as far as I'm aware,
<clears throat> yeah, but as far as I'm aware, that's the only difference. Mm. I, I thought there was only six meatballs in there. It's probably about eight or nine. So there's a few meatballs in here. Rice is so nice, man. I don't understand why people feel the need to use a rice cooker. It's not needed, man. It's so easy. You know, it's the way I do my rice is I have basmati rice. I'll put some oil in a pan and fry some garlic for a little bit. <clears throat> then I'll add the rice fry them together for a minute or two then um, I'll add double water whatever rice I've used and then because I have an electric oven and you know when the water, I, I put the water on to boil add salt as well and then because I have an electric, I have to adjust it differently. So when the water is just above the rice, um, that's when I turn the heat down to the lowest and put a lid on it. Just leave it. Just let it do its thing. Whereas if you have a gas cooker, when the rice and the water is level, then turn it down to... Then turn it down to the lowest and put a lid on it. If you're wondering why I do that on the electric cooker, but it's different on the gas, it's because the electric, the hob it sits on, doesn't go from that massive heat to the lowest heat straight away it goes it has to cool down to that lower temperature so it's still it's still cooking at that high heat which is why i do it that way and with the rice and uh, with the garlic and the salt it's down to you how much you want to put on there if you don't want to, if you don't want garlic rice, do the same. Just put oil in there, fry the garlic, uh, fry the rice for like a minute or two, then add your water. If you want to know why I fry the garlic, uh, fry the rice, I don't know. It was what I was taught. <clears throat> You know what? I've eaten a lot, man. <laughs> I've eaten a lot of the rice. I was surprised how much I've actually eaten. I still just wish there was more sauce in this dish, though. Yeah, it's lovely. It is nice. It's it's not too spicy. I would get it again. I think, and this time I might try it with pasta. Because <clears throat> I 
because it is nice. It's it's like a warming heat. It's not a spice heat. Talking about spice heat, we are so close now to me having to eat the one chip challenge. Mm. It's nice, but I've eaten all the meatballs, so I'm just basically eating rice at this point. to try something on my channel soon I am so excited to try it I'm not gonna tell you what it is until I've gotten it but I am really looking forward to trying it man oh. mm. I think next time I, I'm going to use less rice because oh, that's a lot of rice. I've still got loads of rice in here. That was really nice. I think what I'll probably do with the rest of the rice is add some onions, sweet corn, put an egg in there and then just make like an egg fried rice or something. I don't know. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you again Friday.